Time now for our alumni segment of Around BCC. And we're going to do things a little bit differently. We're actually going to have an alum who's joining me right now from the New Bedford area. But it'll be more of just a one-on-one -on -one interview than the uh, normal way we've been handling our alumni segments here on the show. I'm glad to be joined by Dan Gelinas. He is a graduate of BCC class of 2004. Dan, thank you for joining us today. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Where did you grow up, and what were your interests maybe growing up in this, in this area? Oh, well, I grew up in a cushionette, and uh, typical boy. Played football, played baseball. Mm -hmm. uh, when I graduated from New Bedford High in 1980, wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. Went to BCC in 1982, only lasted a couple months, and then I ended up in the Army. Uh, and traveled around the world, and came back, got married, and when that didn't work out, I uh, decided to go to BCC in the year 2001. So, what, um, so you came back in 2001? Correct. What was, your, what was your major? My major was general studies, because I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do. And so I'd like to, uh, I, picked, I picked and I choo chose, you know, uh, a multiple disciplines from multiple sure. disciplines. And then I decided to major in English So okay. once, I met, once I went to UMass. Now, um, you had taken a couple of classes here and a couple of classes, I, I believe, in Fall River, is that correct? Yeah, most of my classes in um, Fall River. Actually, you had said you had gone in the early 80s to BCC. Right. What was the difference coming back after all those years? Uh, besides my age, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I couldn't see why I, I didn't succeed the first time I went, because yeah. it just seemed like I was so much more interested in it now, and that probably has to do with age and experience and wisdom and, and not taking school for granted like I did last time, you know? I really wanted to be there this time. That was the difference, I think. And and I and then when I seen my grades for the first semester, I was like, either I'm getting smarter or the kids are getting dumber. I, I don't know which one it was, but right. I think it was just because I took it a little bit more serious and yeah. you know I looked at life a little differently after some experience. Right. So. Talk a little bit about uh, you graduated in 2004. Um, did you go on to get a bachelor's degree? Uh, actually, I'm in my last semester okay. at UMass. Oh, uh, good. Two more courses. Uh, my Spanish, which we'll cross our fingers on that one, my last semester, and one more English course, and I'll have my my uh, my degree in English literature. What do you um, What do you hope to do after? I the, plan uh, on well, I'm putting in my app now, but I'm trying to go to UMass Boston for my master's. Good for you. I like to focus on English criticism. I, I'm a good critic, I've been told. So, <laughs> although I'm not that skeptical. <laughs> there you go. Um, one of the good things about um, giving back, and, and you've you've um, you said you went to the army, came back. You've stayed in this area pretty much the whole time. Yes, yes, I have. Um, and now you also uh, are giving back to BCC as as you're an employee here now. Talk yes, about I that. Am. Yes, I uh, I'm the coordinator for the tutoring services, and so I get to meet uh, all kinds of different students from a wide demographic area and it's, it's, it's a pleasure to work with with students it, it makes you feel you know alive it really does and I'm glad that I get a chance to, to work with people one-on-one -on -one. I really enjoy working with people one-on-one -on -one. I, uh, I think you get to know them better you build a rapport you know mm -hmm. people are so much different in a crowd <laughs> yeah, so yeah no I, I really have enjoyed my experiences working here in the New Bedford campus and and I hope to, to continue being the coordinator of the tutoring services. Well, Dan, I appreciate your time and, and all the best going forward. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.